Hello and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my opinions on the walking to the ride at Fort Park Resort. Okay, let's start the video. So back in 2018, Fort Park announced the year of the Walking Dead to be a part of the Fort Park Resort. And it brought along the Walking Dead the Ride, which took over X, which was originally there, which was a dark ride that had a nightclub party style vibe to it in the pyramid right next to Darren Brown. And it also brought Walking Dead Living Nightmare and Walking Dead Do or Die, which are two scare mazes at the park that come over at Fright Nights. And basically, The Walking Dead, it's got the walk, like The Walking Dead, the TV series, it's got that type of vibe and it's got lots of different elements to it, I feel. Like it's got the pre-show which is amazing, which is, I don't know his name, but this guy trying to talk to you, saying, oh you need to get out, walkers have come in to try and kill you and attack you. So he's urging you to get towards the ride, basically. And then you walk through a lot of dark corridors to get to the ride. And when you get to the ride, you go on, go up the lift hill, and then you go down into it, trying to escape the walkers or the zombies, as they're known as, who are trying to attack you. And you're trying to escape. There's this mid-course break run, I think it's called where you stop, the guy that's doing the pre-show says on the tannoid, have any of you been bitten? And then you see like a projection of walkers through this window and they're trying to get at you. And then the guy's trying to start and restart the train. You go forward, back, forward, back, like it's stuck. And then you eventually get forward, which is one of my favorite parts of the ride as well as the pre-show, they're probably two of my favourite parts of the ride. Then you go across, there's more uh, bits where walkers are trying to attack you, and it's a very dark ride, which I think Fort Park did really well with this, trying to fit it in when what previously was there was a family ride, and they're trying to make it more of a older ride for older people. And... They really did well with fitting this theming in to that place. And when you going back onto the ride, um, when you get off, you get asked to go through these do not enter doors, which I think they're like that on the ride. It's in the movie or TV series. And then you enter. It's like a cafeteria area. And then sometimes if there's actors, There'll be like three or four actors in there trying to scare you. One behind the end of the group. One like in the middle of the canteen. Sometimes one at the end. They, they do a really good job of trying to scare you. The majority of the time I get scared by them. Which I really like. One time I somehow got six actors on one day. Which is very rare. And I actually got actors before the ride even started. I did. And... Then after you leave the cafeteria, you're walking down these really, really dark corridors to try and exit and it gives people scared because um, they think that there's more zombies to come when there isn't actually. It's just really, really dark corridors which it makes the atmosphere much better and the smell pod in The Walking Dead is quite accurate to what people would expect it to be. Like... I, don't, I actually like the smell for some reason. It, it just gives it a whole new life to it. And for those of you wondering if I prefer The Walking Dead or X, I prefer The Walking Dead by quite a mile because of the theming and the ride in general. I do. And the theming on the outside of The Walking Dead is top notch. They have a watchtower in front. Even the baggage area is kind of themed in a way and they re I definitely thought they needed to improve something about X 
and they did by adding the Walking Dead, which hopefully we see stay for a few more years, unless Fort Park lose the license to using the Walking Dead the ride. I hope they don't, but I hope they keep it for as long as they can, and I'm going to try and ride it as much as I can next year. The only negative I really have about it, The Walking Dead, is there's a lot of corridors with just darkness and a little bit of theming. They need to add a little bit more theming and a little bit more ambience into this bit of dark corridor they have. And they need to let you ride on your own. Because it always says you need to be in a two, because it's family coaster and I don't, originally, and it doesn't, I don't think it can take everyone's weight if you're on your own and then there's two then you're on your own it just needs to be balanced with two people per row but the restraints on that are absolutely amazing i think really comfortable you've got a lot of reg leg room to stretch your legs out and the trains are kind of themed they still got the x x logo on the front and you can also see before you get on there's this truck on the outside in, before you go on the ride in the pyramid itself the number plate on that it, it says x no way out not literally that but it has it in code like you can easily work it out that it says x no way out and i think there might be a few other easter eggs regarding x in the ride and there's this when you're waiting to go on the ride there's this really loud siren that scares people and they make them feel like something bad is going to happen, but it's absolutely amazing. I think Walking Dead the ride is my second favourite ride at Fort Park. You all know what my first is. And that's my review on the Walking Dead the ride. It's not the best, but I'm just trying to share my opinion to you guys, try and change up the content to my videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think my next one will be my maps and posters collection, which I promised you last time, but I didn't do it today. I just wanted to give you something different. I hope you guys are having a good day. Remember, please subscribe if you can to my YouTube channel, and also follow me on Instagram. I'm close to a thousand followers on Instagram, and I'm close to 40 followers on YouTube. So. If you can, please follow and subscribe to both my social media platforms. I've been Ben Truman. Hope you have a lovely day. And bye.